I came out when I was 16 and my parents right away did not like it very well. It's not that they kicked me out directly, it's that they made it very hostile. They joked about it. My parents did become more like aggressive towards me. And it had already been like that before just because that's how they were. But it made it to the point where I had to leave. And so I kind of couch surfed for like a year. I feel like my biggest struggle was that I felt that when my parents weren't okay with it, that no one was gonna be okay with it. And I kind of just put my sexuality deeper down and I kind of just like didn't really acknowledge the word and I didn't really like claim it as my identity. And so from my sophomore and junior year, I was struggling a lot with who I was and what I was doing. And so I was just kind of like, I was in every club, I was working like crazy because I was trying to avoid the fact that I didn't like, that I didn't know who I was. And the high schools where you're supposed to find who you are. So I kind of, as I matured and as I kind of got it together, like who I, what I was doing, I found that not knowing who I was was kind of made, made me who I am today. Like it kind of, the fact that I was so lost for so long has made me so confident in who I am today and what I'm doing and I know what I want to do in my future. I'm president and kind of lead on finance for AVID. I also am involved on my school's campus GSA, but I'm also involved in the district's Pride Pack, which is just kind of like a more educational side of like the um, LGBTQ community. I have my solar regatta team that we build boats from scratch and we hook panels up to them that SMUD gave us and then we race them later in the year. I work full-time at Express, um, it's just a sushi restaurant. I manage a whole staff. And then on my little time that I have, I'm with my three siblings that I kind of have been raising for the last ever. It's very important to acknowledge that the person you are is never wrong. Whether you're gay, whether you're straight, whether you're a jock, an athlete, it doesn't matter. It's, you have to be okay with who you are before you're expecting other people to be okay with it. My name is Carlin Krankovich. I'm a senior at Del Campo High School, and this is my SJ story.